Welcome. All right, so what I have here is negative 11 pi over two. And what I wanna show you how to do for this problem is go ahead and evaluate our six trigonometric functions. So to do that, we need to be able to determine where negative 11 pi, um, where that angle is, sorry, and where that's gonna cross our unit circle. So um, there's a couple ways we could do this. We could just go and take a look at, now obviously you know it's negative, we're gonna be going in this negative direction. So if here we have over to pi, well, here's gonna be in your negative direction. So pi halves is just gonna be over here. So we can just keep on doing this, you know, halves of pi or quarters of a circle and keep on adding it up until we get to negative 11. So, um, you know, 1 pi half, 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi halves, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. All right, and that's our ending value. The other way, which I think is a little bit uh, easier to do, is by adding terms of our revolution, you know, 4 pi, um, to, get our, get, to get the smallest coterminal angle or at least not even the smallest coterm, but the smallest positive coterminal angle. So what we can do is add, keep on adding 2 pi. Well, since we have a denominator of 2, I'm going to add 4 pi over 2, because 4 pi over 2 is the same thing as 2 pi. So if I have 4 pi once, I'll still have a negative angle. Add it again, I still have a negative angle. Add it again. And now, when I add 4 pi plus 4 pi plus 4 pi, that gives me 12 pi over 2. Add that to a negative 11 pi over 2, and now I'm just left with pi halves, which if you were to graph pi halves, you can see that that is 90 degrees or pi halves, which is right there. So you can either kind of do this algebraically by determining the coterminal angles, or if you really like graphing and doing a lot of these circles, you can do it that way. But either way, we have our point that our angle crosses the unit circle as that 0 comma 1. So to evaluate the sine function, remember the, uh, the sine of our angle t is going to be represented by the y-coordinate of the point where it intersects. Sorry, Rosa, just go. So t, um, y equals 1. So therefore, we'll have um, y represents our, our y-coordinate, which is 1. Cosine is going to be 0. And tangent is going to be y over x, which would be 1 over 0, which equals undefined. For our cosecant, we'll have 1 over y, which is 1 over 1, which is 1. For the secant, we'll have 1 over x, which is 1 over 0, which is, again, undefined. And then for cotangent, because remember, we can't divide by 0. For cotangent, we have 0 over 1, which is going to equal to 0. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Um, that is how you evaluate your six trigonometric functions. Uh, six trigonometric functions dealing when you have a point by either graphing it or by using coterminal angles. Thanks.